talking about the um, Lupin field, right? Yeah, I think that's where we left off, yeah. Yeah, okay. So in the form, you can see we have added place fill out, <coughs> fill out form below. This is about the form. You can see this message, whatever you can add about the form for the user uh, information and the below form you can add your privacy policy like a checkbox also. And this is the styles and this is something uh, and you can see submit button text also you can see download now you become download now and if you want you can change it submit some submit something like this or contact us or request info something like that and it's more next step completion action which is important one <clears throat> Okay, here you can see a couple of tabs. One is thank you content and another one is thank you code. So in the thank you content, you can show here yeah, thank you for contact us. One of our uh, marketing team will contact you shortly. Something like that or you can design it over here using uh, this icon. This icon is related to HTML where we can add our HTML code here. Or else you can simply text, uh, let me, Stop with this and uh, request somewhere else. And I can add your one text here and to call contact us. And you can design it based on your name. <coughs> First, yeah, we need to capture that kind of information. We need a Salesforce custom field. Okay, let me create one custom field and go to object manager. Do you have an idea about Salesforce, right? Yeah, I know more about Salesforce for sure. Yeah. I'm going to lead object. And we actually don't use leads. We only use contacts. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know if it matters in this context, but. Okay, before that, I'm going to open a business setting. I'm going to. Prospect fields. Prospect, yeah, you can go to upon engagement settings where you can see object and the field configuration where you can see upon fields, opportunity fields, lead and contact fields will be shown under prospect fields. Okay. Yeah, this is all default fields of contact and lead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this custom field. Yeah, okay. In case if you have added any custom field in contact object, and yeah. if if that field having permission for the integration user, that will be displayed here. Okay. Let me create one field here. So our our custom field is called source two, because we have several like source fields. That's like the example that you could use if you wanted to. That's because that's what okay. we do. Yeah, uh, what data type it should be? It should be a text, right? So you, you want um, to, okay. first I will explain and uh, we'll come back to your questions, okay? Okay, um, sounds okay. good. Lead goes like that, okay. Length can be handle.
ti. Okay, this is the field that we have created and I'm going to pad up I'm just refreshing this page and this field should be synchro to pad up. I'm adding custom field. I think the relate to take some time to okay sync. yeah because that field is not available. Okay, just I'm uh, choosing level field. Uh, later we can change it. Okay. Yeah, it's available now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. <clears throat> okay. I'm making custom field. You can see there is an option called sync behavior. If yeah. values differ when data is sync, there are three options. One is use Salesforce value, and next one use un account engagement values, and third one use most recently updated record value. Okay. In case, okay. yeah, if record. Yeah, we cannot say the record only coming from website form, um, only coming from Salesforce, right? So in this case, for example, if we have selected sync behavior use Salesforce value means if users submit the uh, submit the form with lead source, <coughs> with lead source uh, web means uh, in case the same lead is in Salesforce also and that lead having lead source value as um, email or something else means that value will be overrated in pair dot. So already the lead source value is in a web right in say in pair dot. So in this case, we should not choose the Salesforce value. The Salesforce yeah. value will be overrated from Salesforce to pair dot. Okay, in case if you select use account engagement value and this field value override Salesforce lead source yeah. value. I think that's what we probably have happening now. Okay, and the last one, we should use, uh, always we should use this third option, use the most recently updated for value. This is- Yeah, that's, yeah, that seems best, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is recommendation. Okay, yeah, I would imagine that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, just save this custom field. Okay, we can use that field as a hidden field in the form. Mm -hmm. I'm adding new thing. Oh, this is that deep. There it is at the bottom. Okay. And see, lead yeah. source value, and, the, the and then you part. can you can call it something else. Um, 
on the label, right? Yeah, you can change it. Okay, got it. And then make it as a hidden field. And if you don't, yeah, I think we can, we can do, uh, we don't want, need to use this field in farm level instead of yeah. using, yeah, instead of using in farm level, we can create an automation rule or in, we can do, we can populate the value in completion action itself. I will explain. Okay. So that's going to show up in Salesforce and part up, but it won't show up on the form for the customers, right? That's how that works. Yes, yes, yes. You okay. can see it's a, whenever the user submit the form, we can do some actions. Yes, I'm clicking on actions. Set prospect custom field and we need to lead source. We can set web. Got it. Okay, I'm just clicking and confirm save. And this is something I can always go back and change, right? If I need to. Yes. By going into the form and selecting that. Okay. Okay, the lead source is empty for this particular record. Some again with the same email address. I'm just refreshing this prospect record. It will take some time. So, if you want, you can go to add it tab. So, we can see one by one what, what is overview list. You know, right? This what was tabs. that? Yeah, one minute. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, if you could do a quick overview of them, that would be great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, you know, the lead source is web. I'm going to check this. We need to assign the prospect to some user, then only the record will be Synchro to Salesforce. Now this record is sent to Salesforce. And go to details. Sir, yeah, we, we need to con. It should be a contact because we have created uh, that field only in contact, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a new record. I'm just convert this. So in this case, it only show up when you convert it to a contact. Yes.
You so should be comfortable with some show like that. Yeah, you can see now the lead source is there. Okay. It takes some time, two to five to three to five minutes. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, next morning. Next. Okay, let me go to completion functions. Okay, um, after submitter, we can see the thank you. Thank you for conduct us. That is a text we have added here. If you want, you can add uh, some of the other things like you can add image also using this one. Or you can add insert image from your desktop also using this icon. You can add your uh, external URL here or you can upload it from your desktop. Okay. Yeah, th this kind of, uh, you can add a class or ID for the particular images. Yeah. Okay. Okay, some clients will be asking to, uh, I no need to add content here and it should right. be redirect to their custom thank you page where we can add that here means you can see there is an option called redirect to the following url instead of showing the forms thank you content forms thank you content is nothing but this is right so don't want to display i want to uh, redirect to somewhere else i mean thank you page means okay for second you can add uh, google.com I'm just checking this checkbox. We need to add redirect location. I'm just adding um, google.com and click on confirm and save. I'm just refreshing okay. this page. And that could be like good to put your own company's website in there or something, I guess, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I think they, they will have some, um, they, they will have built build the website in WordPress or um, Adobe Engage Manager or .NET or Java means. They will have some uh, 
standard uh, packages, they will provide that URL. We can add that URL. Okay, oh, okay. Get, yeah. And just click on submit, it will redirect to google.com instead of showing thank you page content. Okay. You can see previously it was showing thank you for contact us. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the option you can use show our uh, yeah in thank you yeah why they have given two options means in thank you page we know we, we cannot design uh as as like website right we can just mm -hmm. add yeah we can add just a text and image only but in website we can do whatever response to designs are so so that they right has so like our web yeah. does our web developer could create our own thank you page and then we can yeah. put that in there yeah okay yeah, yes Okay, and one more tab, thank you code. Here we can use JavaScript, you can see. Thank you code is typically JavaScript used to call other systems like Google conversion tracking. You can add your Google Analytics uh, code here so that if user submit this form, it will be tracking in Google Analytics. So that's what also you can add your own JavaScript to uh, download some getter content so that's why they have given option here thank you code option and the completion action this is most important part okay some client will be asking whenever the user submit the form i should get notification with default <coughs> Sorry. With some uh, uh, prospect details like the first name, last name, email, phone, and like that means you can do actions. Okay, already we have set prospect custom field list source as web. And we can remove this. Okay, if you want to notify particular notify the prospect whenever they submit the form, we need to select. So you can see there is an option called notify user. Okay, there are okay, and you can see one more option called notify as in user. Both are different, don't confuse. Notify as in user means the rec the prospect should have assigned to any user. That particular user will notify for the particular prospect. But notify user is deep is notify user means all the prospects will be notified on the particular user are you able to understand difference between notify user and notify as an user uh, okay. so assign user we're gonna we're gonna uh, select a specific user and then notify user is I, i'm a little unclear on that what is that what is it integration user referring to yeah, this is uh, one kind of users in product. Let me go to. Okay, so it's anybody who has that kind of user yeah, settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, all the users will be displayed under here. This is the okay. training center that you can see only uh, testing users. Right. But if you want a specific person, you have to use the other. Uh, yeah, notify. yes, yes. Okay, yes. got it. So okay. whenever the uh, user submit this form, all notification will go to only particular user notify user and not is that is that only for can you only do this for like a part out user what about for a salesforce user yeah all salesforce user will be in um a paradox okay no, so sure. i can also just because you know like our we have like admissions counselors they're like you know kind of like our sales team they don't use pardot at all but they use Salesforce all the time. So I just want to make sure they would, they, they don't think they even have access to, to Pardot. So I just want to make sure they would have, oh, we'd yes. have the ability to notify them, right? Okay, uh, are you using Pardot uh, uh, Lightning or Classic? Uh, I, Lightning mostly, yeah. Lightning, okay, fine. Because huh, I'm taking light, uh, uh, training Lightning, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. I. I I was using classic and then I realized I had access to lightning and so I switched to it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm on account engagement settings and I'm on users section. Here, okay, they will not access. Yeah, um, it, it, as you said, the counselors uh, will, not, uh, will not be in paired paired access, right? Simply, you can click on yeah. add user button. And then go uh, enter the URL that should be matched with a um, CRM user. I'm just entering it for testing purpose. I'm not going to create user. Okay. Um, and here you can see CRM user. We need to select the CRM user. Okay. So, yeah, the, uh, all CRM users will be displayed under this drop down. And you have to select the particular uh, uh, user. So you can use this user in this job door. Okay. Even they don't have access for the PADA, they will receive email from the PADA whenever the user submit this form. Okay, got it. No. And we, we can add many um, completion actions. So, uh, for example, we can add some tags for this form, and we can add to particular campaign. Uh, whenever the user submit this form, we can add uh, add to a list for all the uh, submissions coming from this form. Means we can add to the particular list. We can add some score for our. For, Instead of, uh, yeah, already we have given form submission 100 points for uh, prospect, right? Uh, for, for mm -hmm. prospect form submission. If you want to give more score means, we can add 20 also. So what will happen is already oh. they have, yeah, whenever user submit the form, by default, we have given 100 points. Additionally, they will get 20 points. Okay, so you have to put in like a plus in there for it to work. Yeah, this is a default. You don't need to a default plus. In. For example, okay, got it. If yeah, I, yeah. It just if automatically. I, yeah, if I enter two, it will come. The plus will come automatically. Okay. Okay, and another action. Okay, uh, adjust the scoring and the list uh, assigned prospect via. Salesforce active assignment role. Okay, this is right. So whenever the one thing that we need to uh, keep in mind that whenever the user submit the data form, the record will not go to in Salesforce. We need to assign the prospect in Salesforce through Parada. So we so for that we need to select this option action. So whenever the user submit this form, this record will sync to Salesforce and assign to particular user based on the lead assignment role. You know what is lead assignment role, right? Um, I I might, yeah, I think I might, but I can you show me? I, I, but I, does sure, this sure. apply to contacts as well? Yes. Okay. You can see lead assignment goal and just click on this. And what does is this something that I would do differently for contacts, or do I still use it? It still would be called lead assignment rule, even though we don't use leads. Yeah, by default, the, <coughs> we can see only lead assignment rule, but if you want to, we can write uh, assignment rule in contact account opportunity case and other objects also. Okay, but it's not something that I would have to create a new rule or? Yeah, if you want, you can create it. By, by default, they will provide one uh, lead assignment rule. Let, okay. Uh, yeah. But if I change this, if I change, um, if I edit this area in my Salesforce, the lead assignment rules, will it also impact contacts or no? No, this one is related to lead assignment rules. Okay, yeah, because yeah, we're not using those. Okay, 
Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. You can see um, lead assignment tool. Lead is equal to, con con sorry, country is equal to US, US, United States, and United States of, of America. The all lead will be assigned to given watts. Okay. Yeah, this is this is the lead assignment tool. Based on this rule, the this prospect will be assigned into Salesforce. That is called assign prospect via Salesforce Active Assignment Rule. And add okay. to group. Yeah, add to group. So we can we can uh, sorry, assign to group. We can assign to particular uh you can assign to this, your, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, is this something that is necessary to do, would you say, or is it more just if it, if you want to? Yeah, Panda has that, if, given option to, yeah. Ass, yeah, option. If you want, you can use it, or else you can assign to a particular prospect. Assign to like particular users? Particular user, yeah. Yeah, yes. okay. Like for us, that's probably better than having to create a contact yeah um, particular user okay. Okay. yeah okay 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 and uh, this are uh, okay. also we can create salesforce task for the um, assign user you can see type uh type form okay great yeah spread up form submission Assigned to CRM user, priority normal, we can change the priority here. And the status, you can select uh, any one of status you want. And the reminder, three days, and it due, enter number. So every uh, three days, <coughs> okay, uh, uh, due is right. Due is means the once the record is created, the Salesforce task will be created in, uh, for the uh, in Salesforce and assigned to particular CRM owner for the lead. So after uh, okay, once the still the CRM owner is not taking any action on the task, again the parent will send reminder. That is third day. That is the three days. Can I some of If you leave the remind, oh, it's a reminder. Sorry, never mind. Okay, so it's gonna remind. It's gonna it's gonna send them the uh, that immediately, and then send them a reminder three days later, right? Yes, yes, it is okay. automatic. It is automatic. Got it. So uh, execute external action means uh, I will check it and let you know what is it. Execute external actions. And already I have explained what is notify as a user and notify user. And we can remove this prospect from the particular list and we can remove our tags. And okay, this is most important. Send auto responder email. Okay, autoresponder email is nothing but whenever the user submit the form, we can say, well, yeah, thank you for, yeah, already we have a thank you page where we can add some text. Okay, instead of uh, showing a thank you page, okay, we can show a thank you page as well as we can send email for the submitted lead, you know, submitted user that is called send autoresponder email where we can add some text like yeah thank you for submissions one of our uh, um, um, market user will contact you shortly and if you can add some more information like if you want to learn more about us click click on the blue link and where we can uh, give our uh, product page a uh, url in the cpa that is called auto responder email Okay, and that's a template that was created in Pardot email yes. templates, right? Yes, okay. yes. We need to we need to uh, create it. 
then only the yep. the, the uh, template will be shown here. Okay, great. And the set profile, uh, we can also set um, profile by default. Uh, we pair up and set default to profile. And yeah, uh, any idea about profile? Um, okay. No, what does that mean? Okay, I, I will explain later. Okay. And set profile. Okay, uh, let me have a show you custom field, set prospect custom field. We can set default value whenever the user submit this form. And the set prospect default value. You can select a default <coughs> source which you can and you can set default value for source the <coughs> source pin. Last one is set prospect source campaign. Yeah, all the campaigns that you have created in uh, Cara that will be displayed here. Now the default, mm -hmm. so I, I did not create any campaign. So the default campaigns are displayed here. And you can set default campaigns for this, um, whenever the user submit this form. Uh, I will explain where it should be. This is source campaign, right? So that, mm -hmm. that will, yeah, this campaign will be set here. Source campaign, default campaign. That is called set prospect source campaign. Okay, this is, uh, that's all about add action and one more button called add conditional group. And just click on this. Okay. okay, so that means you're going to add it to the campaign when yeah, this it's assigned is, to Dwayne? Yeah, yes, yes. Group of conditional, uh, uh, for example, okay. <coughs> okay, as an user, this means we, we need to uh, add some score and uh, we need to add another actions, like we need to add to a particular list means we can use and conditional groups functionality here. Okay, but we cannot do, we cannot set conditions here, right? You can see, this is straightforward. Mm. This is straightforward, but if the prospect as an user this, then only this action will be done. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will not, for example, Okay, I am submitting this form. My assign user is uh, my assign user. Okay, I have set David Watts. Um, uh, and my assign user is a different name. Okay, I, I, I will not get 50 point and I will not add to this list. Okay, if Okay, you, if you submit this form and as an user is the David Wars, you will get additional 50 points as well as you will add to this partner's list. Okay. Gotcha. So, but um, this, but right, this ahead. action will be done for you, for me as well. Okay, so it's going to be 
You're going to get everything, but then Dwayne's only going to get the ones that are, um, wait, is it after the, after that action? I, I'm not sure if I understand exactly. Yeah, actually this four, uh, one, two, three, four, four action, completion action will be happened for you and me, but this conditional group mm -hmm. action will happen if as an user david works for you for me but if as an user different from this user needs this action will not happen for you or me as well okay yeah are you okay. able to understand what is the difference between action and the add conditional group action so I think so. So it's just like um, the this is a action that is only happening for a particular user for a particular situation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're okay. Right. Yeah, you can see upon further this and uh, the prospect assignment status. If it is assigned or not assigned, based on yeah. Uh, as you understand, based on the, uh, some conditions, this action will happen, others it will not happen. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, I think that's all. In the, form, in the final step, we need to make sure that all the things are that we have added properly, like a, a form name, folder, campaign layout, a template form fields. Submit button text redirection URL. Oh, I forgot what to do. Can you let me go back to in the section? Completion action. And there is one option for the always display form after submissions. Any idea about this? Um, yeah, so I guess, you, you know, do you always want it to display or not? I guess, yes, right? Yes, like, yes, yes. If you uncheck this checkbox and if I visit this form after submitter, I can see blank page here. Okay. Okay. Does that mean it will show up sometimes and not other times if you don't check it? Okay, I I, I did not check it. Okay. Yeah. Already I have submitted this form and again I'm coming mm -hmm. back to this form. Uh, in the field level, we will have done something. Ah, yes. Okay. I'm just removing this. So image is always mandatory field, so it should be uh, display always. You cannot uncheck it. Just not touching this one. You can see, you cannot see other things hmm. because you already submitted it before. Yeah, already submitted, but but you should, uh, yeah, even if I submitted already, means the other fields should be displayed there, right? Hmm. Okay, yeah, because I have this disabled always display form even. Thanks, this checkbox. Okay, again, I'm just checking this. 
and someone say I'm just refreshing this page. Yeah, because we have disabled in farm level. Sorry, field level itself. So this is most important uh, checkbox. Whenever you add, whenever you are adding field, make sure that it, this checkbox should be check then only the all the field fields will be displayed whenever the user submit reads the form again Yeah, that's all uh, <coughs> in the question. Okay, before we talk about segmentation list as well as segmentation, uh, segmentation list, and just keep in mind about what's the difference between segmentation list and segmentation rules. Okay, yeah. Segmentation rules will be done only once, and the list is dynamic. In the segmentation list, there are two types like. Uh, Dynamic list, email test list, and the public list, CRM visible list. Okay. I will explain one by one when, when these lists should be uh, used. Okay, email test, email test list. Okay, we have created a campaign and we are going to use your uh, email templates. In email templates, we have added some post initiation and some signature. Um, and some CTA, and we need to test before send to real time prospect. Means we can add our internal employees into a list that is called email test list. If you created as email test list, we can add our internal employee to this email test list, and we can use this email test list to send email. And after we send the email, we can ask them to check how, how the email looks looks like in all the browsers or the devices. And we, mm -hmm. uh, we can ask them to check whether the URL uh, is redirected to properly and the person is, person is populating properly. So after that, we need to send email to the real-time prospect. So we can Okay. Use email test list for that. Okay, I'm, I'm checking this and dynamic list. Okay, dynamic list based on this, some conditions we can add prospect. We cannot add prospect manually in the dynamic list, it should be dynamic. We cannot add or remove prospect manually. Okay. If you create a dynamic list and we need to set a condition based on the condition, the prospect will be added to the dynamic list. Okay, once they added to the particular dynamic list, if after some after uh, 10 days or 15 days, the particular prospect is not meet the dynamic list rule, they will automatically remove from the dynamic list. Did you understand that? Part? What is the dynamic list? Yeah, I think so. They so they yeah, basically they'll any new prospects added into Pardot will be automatically added as long as they meet the criteria. Yes, that's that we've set. Yeah, yeah, we cannot add prospect manually in the dynamic list. Yeah, right. Okay, public list. Public list is nothing but if you 
uh, if you create a uh, list, you are checking by this checkbox, it will be displayed in preference center page. Do you know any idea for preference center page? Um, no, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, I, I will explain later. In the product email, couple of uh, links should be there in uh, footer. One is unsubscribe, another one is preference center page. If user click on preference center link, they will redirect to the uh, product default preference center page, where if you want to add prospect, uh, for example, uh, we can news. Okay, I'm creating this list label with a newsletter. This label will be displayed in preference center page with checkbox. In case if user want to get uh, receive no newsletter from our uh, bad attention means they can check that particular uh, uh, newsletter checkbox and submit the form. They will automatically add it to this public list. We can use this public list to send newsletter email over opting for the newsletter that is called public list. We cannot use this list to add prospect. Okay. So this will be only available in preference center cache page, not somewhere else in Paradox. It'll only be available where, sorry? Yeah, preference center page. You can see display this list in email preference center page. Okay. Okay, and so is it something that we can like, we can basically just like use a one-time list that we have to send emails to? Is that what that means or? Yeah, yes, yes, got it. Okay, I mean, is it sort of like a list email in Salesforce? Yeah, you, you want to display list email in Salesforce, right? I'm just asking if that's similar. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about later listing. Listing about listing. Okay. Okay. Last one. C CRM visible. I, I will just explain the uh, what is what, and but we can see uh, one by one tomorrow how this okay. list list will be working. And finally, okay. CRM visible. If you create a list, use checking by CRM visible checkbox. This list will be displayed in for this CRM use. Okay, for example, they can send the email for the uh, lead uh, using this um, list. They okay. no need to come to Salesforce and select the list. They can see this list in Salesforce, Salesforce itself. They can send this email, the email to this list. Okay. Yeah, you can see one by one what how this will work in. Uh, for the prospects. 